having a bit of a chat, figuring out what the strat is here. They will pretty much decide the pace unless Lucid Dream show us something. Get a bit aggressive on that CT side. Not too sure what they're feeling at the moment, but we are going to see three men heading towards B early on. Boost up to short, one over the long. MVP taking fast control along. They're not going to use any flashes, and they're going to be very quickly flanked by PTC, who's already top middle. Genius is actually going to get away as well, so this is a decent position for Lucid Dream. They've got so much map control, but the first pick goes the way for MVP, and they're going to start to smoke CT and make their way over towards uh, A site there. Cat Molly pushes QQ out in the open as well. This is excellent from MVP. Yeah, the... Uh Pinsa was coming in, but it's going to be shut down straight away. Patricius just pretty much double tap there at long. Two little guac bullets is all it is going to take. MVP, they've only taken 14 damage so far. And it's a 2v5. Look, going in with the flash, trying to go for the retake. Want to fly, look. He is trying to spread his wings, but he cannot get them wide enough right now. Trying to be the flank, but the pincer. up. He would literally have back. to fly to get out of that one, I think. <laughs> he was straight surrounded. Up. Oh, wow. I actually thought that round was looking pretty good for Lucid Dream when I saw that they had such a fast flank on mid. Like, yep. they were in pretty good positions in terms of the map. And I saw even Genius got made it around that, that corner where you're running away at long, you're getting chased down by the T's, and you're just hoping you make it around the corner. And somehow he must have, like, re-peaked or gone a little bit over-aggressive there and found himself... Uh, at a bit of a disadvantage and, and getting picked. So I thought, decent scenario for Lucid Dream. I don't know about you. I thought that uh, they could have made something of that pistol, but they just get crushed. Yeah, it was an interesting situation on the corner. I think Genius must have gone for the repeat to die there so early. Maybe just to get a bit more information, not, not back in that he actually saw five men running out long, but it did happen, brother. And we are here in the second. Oh, tag on the cross too. Want to fly down to about half. And that's a good start to the round for MVP, who already have long control. They do indeed. Lucid Dream, interested to see them not actually buying up into this one whatsoever. So I'm keen to see if they're going to buy in the next one because uh, double orbs are pretty common on Dust 2 and you need a lot of utility in particular. So if you're buying into the next round, you might not have enough util to really be as competitive as you might want to. You don't have the util to be able to actually stop the T's getting into long or maybe rushing B or something. If you don't have that Molotov or that key PC utility, you can just get absolutely wrecked very early on into the round and just lose. I mean, I don't, personally, myself, whenever I know that uh, the other team's gone for like a second round buy or something like that, I will literally just rush a bomb site. Well, that's you. Yeah. Looks like MVP are doing pretty much just that at the moment too. Just boom. Straight up onto A. They all are, yeah. the way through. They're just smashing out this anti-eco and I'm keen to see what the approach is for them next round. Zeta, too sharp on the USP. Okay, it is going to be the buy. The full boy. Yeah, so two of them are actually even committed to head armor, despite the fact that MVP's got a lot of rifles. They probably haven't seen all of the the weaponry from MVP, but there's actually no advantage to buying that head armor at all. Literally, all they're doing is stopping themselves from getting utility, of which they have very little of. MVP, they're just going to run straight up catwalk, and there's no AWP, there's no Molotovs to slow MVP down. They can go pretty much anywhere they want at this point. Yeah, it's just hyper-aggression. Full short control for MVP, and with this, they can go any which way, all over dust at the moment. That's right. Well, they haven't decided to do anything just yet. They've just grabbed that catwalk control, and now they've very much slowed things down. So we'll see what the play is going to be for them. Are they going to apply pressure to middle? Are they going to try and split that A bomb site? Ooh, Ooh. the push-up from PTC doesn't find the right timing, though, and stacks. Someone we didn't actually get to talk to talk about too much in the pre-show, but MVP, when you look at this roster, you go, oh my god, like Zeta, uh, HSK, Zion, this should be like a star-studded roster, but Stax has actually been like their best player, or their most consistent player, in my opinion, in this new roster, and he was the one I expected to do the least out of everyone. Oh, but the hit's coming in up short now for MVP, only a dink is all Genius is going to get. QQ trying to cover the cross, but he's not going to connect onto anyone. Bomb should go down for free here for MVP. No damage nades to force them out from behind that double box. Zeta at top mid. Going to be shut down by CBBK. And all of a sudden, Zeph's going to find another as well. So 2v4. It was almost a 2v3, but Stack's just barely alive on the 4 HP. CBBK with the flash. Him and Wannafly going to go around the corner. Really blinded hit. Any flash too strong. HSK picking up the double, and that's going to be three on the board for MVP. Oh, I loved what MVP did there. They just forced their way up cat, and then they actually threw uh, Wall of Smoke on, long, on uh, the long side of A, right? 
one from catwalk, one from outside of long, and a flash in from the long player, and they just attack a little bit towards long, and that pulls the rotation uh, from that car player who was looking at cat, and then all of those MVP each other players just like smash it up cat straight into the A bomb site. Brute force. It's, and you know the one player who's there to resist them is that guy on on ramp who just gets one beat by stacks. Like, oh, speaking of one beat, <laughs> QQ. QQ hitting the old QQ. Straight on the head of Zion. Big pick to get to. Hey, Jess Kate. We'll continue facing. Jiggling. Rifle in hand. Tap straight back. CBBK too slow there on the trigger. Look at him go. Look at Stax. He's looking for more. He's hungry. Eating them up from pit. Good place to be, though. But no tunnels control. So if Lucid do decide to try and get aggressive, they may be rewarded. Good place to be. The pit. <laughs> you say that in ordinary conversation. <laughs> <laughs> People are probably going to give you funny looks. Just tell it to your mother. Good place to be, the pit. The pit. <laughs> give him some context. Eventually. MVP just going to try and close out the rest of this round, although they did only lose one gun. They're making sure they use plenty of their utility to not lose more guns. Did actually miss that CT smoke, unfortunately. Just a little off. That's all right. Still getting it done. They just don't want to lose any more guns here, Matt, because they like money. They sure do. Lucid, though. Nothing really to save, as they will be buying into the next with the round lost bonus. Genius. Barely getting any damage done there. Now it's PTC and want to fly to try and get some exits. Maybe get some rifles. They are going to gamble on the exit from short, but MVP looking very happy just to keep that long control, head to pit, the safe place to be, the best place to be. Play that bomb. Four in the bag so far as Lucid Dream. Look, they're sweating. They're sweating early on. 4-0 is going to be the scoreline heading into the next. Yeah, and I think I, w I was a bit sad when they decided to buy in that second round because pretty much, I think Zed is like working out, hey, how did I miss throw that CT smoke there at the end of the round? He's just lining it up. Oh, what a smooth off the soccer ball. But I, I think Lucid Dream, they bought in that second round, right? Didn't work out for them as I sort of thought would happen. And now in this round, this is where you're really looking at them to step up. I'm actually interested that they haven't gone straight for the double orb right off the start of things. Um, MVP, they're going to go for this long control. It's going to be contested by a Lucid. Straight out long QQ. What? How's he not seeing him? Genius flicking around. What's going on? QQ. Still alive here in pit. The smoke comes out to extinguish the molly. Lucid Dream with the man advantage. Contesting. They boosted up out of pit. Genius still trying to face. Knows that HSK has to be stuck in that corner. Zeta posted on the long corner as well. Stax is going to find the what? double! Oh, out of what? Out of nothing! He's just Back bailing him out. <laughs> HSK's sweating bullets at the blue bin, and he gets bailed out by old mate uh, Zeta. Problem is, like, they didn't have any flashes to... Ooh, nice shot from PTC. So, again, man advantage kept over by Lucid Dream, and the mid-round push into uppers is going to give them a lot of information. Zion's just... Oh. <laughs> How does he win that fight? That was so messy. So awkward. I thought he was going to be... I was going to say he's one step ahead, but then he <laughs> went for a bit of a jump in towards Tunnel. He's going to throw some utility over towards B, which is going to start to cause a rotation out here. Zed is going to know... Be well aware that that's happening. I'm going to go put down the bomb and play for the clutch. The thing I'm confused about is that they didn't see that bomb drop at long. They got all the kills there. They should have seen it drop at some point, but no one picked it up. So Lucid going to give up the A site for free. Zeta planting for Platt. And he's going to head up there as well. So CBBK has got a kit and PTC has a smoke. So if they can get on that site and with the smoke down, then there's potential here. There definitely is 1v2. Boost coming up. Patricia's... Oh, he's going to go doing, straight mate? into Zeta's cross there. And now it's 1v1. Bomb yet to be tapped. It's Zeta's round to lose. What's that smoke as well on he top of the box? <laughs> he had no. it in his hand when he died, I think. Oh, Zeta. What a clutch in the 1v2. Bit of a misplay from Lucid Dream to throw that man advantage, which they had twice in the round. Yeah. An MVP now with five on the board. Unbelievable. That should have been a lucid dream round every day of the week, I feel. But unfortunately, it was not to be. Old mate Zeta, he's going to close it out. 
That's going to be a 5-0 start for, Lu for MVP, rather. And again, it's going to be pistols for Lucid Dreamwalk, pushing into upper while pushing short. Two arms of this push, looking to meet up in towards middle, but Stax isn't going to let it happen. Yeah, Stax ready and waiting. Very happy for the free kill, punishing all the aggression there from Lucid Dream. Two-man advantage now. Pretty much unlosable unless they run into the short stack. And, well, they've spotted one of the three, but Genius all of a sudden with the CZ, him and QQ. The pistols are too strong. P250 <laughs> as well. Oh, no, everything's going wrong. They know exactly where Stax is. Not sure if they spotted that bomb, but they are happy just to retrieve some rifles as well. Off in the hands of CBBK and QQ with an AK now. 2v1 again, and it's up to Stax for a second time. Yeah, but he is the danger man for MVP, and he's got a f himself a full belt of utility. Going to start dumping it now. Smoke in towards the tunnel with how far away these Lucid Dream players are without a kit. They need to really start holding that W key a little bit quicker than they are, and Stax still has a Molotov to be able to hold on to. Going to drop it. He's looking for an angle onto one of these players, and he's found it. Had the uh, 1v1 for a moment, unfortunately disregarded the fact that there could be someone in tunnels. Not expecting the wide swing there from QQ. Didn't react in time. And that is going to be Lucid Dream getting their first round on the board now. Four rounds behind MVP. And of course that's how they get it. Classic Asian CS. I mean, MVP even got the first two kills there as well. It's a three on five. All yeah. they have is short control and a bunch of pistols. The only the thing curves. MVP need to not do is fight short there, and then of course that's how it how it ends up happening. I don't. They didn't mean to fight short. They saw one. <laughs> uh, whoever the author was fell back for the moment, and then whoever jumped up on Xbox just got destroyed like by the Lu CZ. Lucid Dream like initiated the fight. I understand that, but it's almost like there was some kind of a whirlpool effect. Like all the MVP players got sucked into that fight. Oh. There you go, PTCs. That's only his second kill, but both of the kills he's gotten in this game so far have been at Panga Orb shots, which is what you'd expect from the man. And now a man disadvantage for MVP, which, as we know, doesn't necessarily mean the end of the round. No, not quite yet. And Lucid, once again, they've got that man advantage too, so happy just to leave one man at long. By time with the smokes, MVP setting up for the mid to be split. It seems lots of bullets being shot through. That CT smoke and CBBK, he's going to go for a spam as well. <laughs> One on to HSK. Didn't seem to spot the blood though. Big frags, want to fly as well, flicking around, getting the trade. No! Can't quite get it done, Zion. He finds one Zeta. The double X's, too strong. Zeta wants to go for the repeat. Expecting the man up at window, but <laughs> QQ just holding that spray all the way to the end of the round. And that's going to be second for them. Good stuff from PTC, getting them the man advantage. And then when MVP wanted to consolidate that round with just the double smokes out mid and pushing into tunnel, you can see this smoke was behind them, that they were sort of forcing their way through because HSK was sitting in that mid to B smoke and his time was sort of running out. Like MVP needed to go for the play out tunnel, but it really what that round came down to was that obviously the man advantage, but also just the fact that the second smoke was dropped at the perfect time in tunnel and that completely halted what MVP wanted to do there. They had to choose to either just run straight through a smoke or sort of bind their time, and they kind of were a bit too hesitant. They did a little bit of both. They waited out the majority of the smoke and ended up running through the last part of it because HSK needed to make a move in the middle. They get absolutely ripped apart. Well, it happens. Dust two. And you're running through one of the most narrow points of the map as well. So, big risk, and they decided that they had to go for it, so... See if they make a better decisions here in the eighth. I saw Vertigo in the in the vetoes, and um, I'm just thinking a map that I already think is chaotic and is just absolute fights non-stop, and we're what going to watch Asian CS on it maybe. Maybe. I'm terrified. Maybe. <laughs> I I'll... don't know if I want to see what that looks like. Look, I'm excited. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Ooh, PTC. Leg through the door. Zeph just barely alive. Connects onto Zion as well. Knocks him down below half. He's already done a lot of damage over towards that middle area. And now he's going to make his way over to the car. So regardless of where MVP go, they can't escape PTC. He's always there waiting for them. It's like Freddy Krueger. Watching forever. Lurking in the shadows. Genius still with that long control. So MVP looking like they are just going to bust up short again. There's a lot of smokes here trying to deny vision. Molly as well, not going to force PTC out, although it does eventually. He's down to half, and there should be the bomb plant. 
The Scythe's there for free. Oh. Still stacks at top mid, just waiting. Zion trying to clear everything out, manages to get a Galil of all things from the UMP, and now they're going to have to work for post plans. Stax is going to have to do the heavy lifting here for MVP. He's got to pick CBBK and stop this other player, but that's the second time he gets caught in that position. They've done their research. You can tell. Maybe. Oh, oh up to the AK. Up to Zion. 1v4. Huge plays have to come, but they are not going to come today. It's going to be genius finishing it off. And that's going to be four alive for Lucid Dream as well. Mm. Huge for their economy if they are going to try to get the majority here in the first half of Dust 2. Yeah, their money's great. Over on side of MVP, that bomb plant is going to allow them to have a really sloppy buy if they want it. I don't know about that one, but, you know, you can go for it if you want, I suppose. Uh, that round in particular, I mean, PTC, great damage with the ult early on, and then it really was just QQ holding on this ramp area with the, the support from the utility of his teammates. Those are the two players that you'd really be pointing to on Lucid Dream to be like, hey, these are the guys, if they're going to get you through a series against MVP, those those guys need to be going hand. The hard hitters, the heavy lifters. A bit like yourself, Matt. Oh, yeah. Come on, mate. We're in public. All right, PTC here. He's fully blinded, but he connects regardless. Bust comes out from MVP. No trades just yet either. Just biding their time a second. Smoke comes out a little bit deeper as well. CBBK going to lose his head over towards the window. And it's all up to Wanna Fly, who is going to whiff. No wings yet again. Man advantage for MVP. Bomb going down. And Lucid, look, they've called the save already. Oh. Lucid man advantage, but they are not able to get anything done after PTC clicks his mouse one with the AWP in hand. A action which usually involves someone taking damage. I um, hope so. Whenever I see one of those team, like one of those players, just get full blind and they click with the orb and kill someone, I'm like, the other team's getting robbed. They're getting robbed back, <laughs> but they still won anyway, so it's fine. It all works out in the end. Good trades. Yeah. Trade. Well, it wasn't even. It was good entries. There was no trades there. It was just was running sign. up B ramp and tapping everyone in the head. So, yeah. Sign's pretty good at doing those two things: running yep. and tapping. Sometimes he does a little of the lurking. Hopefully, they stop leaving that man at green box if they do go up short again, because it, it looks like Lucid Dream are aware. Surely, third time's the charm, though, right? Probably. That's what they say. That's what the people say. Great shot. Great opening there. From PTC. All right. But Lucid already working up the comeback. Three yeah. to six. Yeah, and their economy is still pretty good despite taking a bit of a bit of loss there. They got a lot of guns out. Oh, my God, PTC. Wasn't this man like zero and four? And now he's like five and five. And every time he clicks the AWP, he hits someone. The assists as well are a lot of those AWP hits. Again, he gets a pick on middle and makes it all the way to this A-bomb site. Try to find himself another angle to kill someone. Bust Huge amount of there. impact on the man. All the way up CT ramp before anyone from MVP gets up that short area. Although after you do hear the AWP have a shot at mid, it is very scary to try to go across cat, you know. You might have to cross the AWP scope a second time. Well, they're just going to try to win this round the old-fashioned way. Four man into a bomb site. All the CTs can't all be on the B site. And only one of them is actually. And Wannafly doesn't even have his volley out. He's not going to throw it. Oh, Why and he's using? looking the wrong direction too. Trying to play any flash. What? Bloody entry. CBBK can only find a one for one on his behalf. And it's going to be a 3v3. So Lucid Dream could go for the retake here. Zeph, he's taking a lot of damage as well. PTC with the old Bogdan's Law still on the AWP. But he has taken a lot of damage himself. Lucid Dream setting up. Looking just to prod the doors. These are going to have to be some banger of flashbangs. That's for sure. If they're going to even get into this bomb site. Good crossfires from MVP. It's all up to QQ to entry, though, and he's almost going to be successful. It's genius to get the trade, but all of the frags, bar one, going at the favour of MVP, and they're one round off, getting the majority on the T side of Dust2. And look, in Asian CS, I have a feeling that Dust2 would be quite T-sided. Just from what I I've seen. I think in general it's T-sided, to be honest. I you think reckon? the CT side on this map is a bloody nightmare, Mac. It is. It, it depends on how great your team's rotations are, reactions to everything that's going on. But that's a discussion for another day. As Zion, he's going <laughs> to attempt his life at long Zeta. That's the angle. And a 2K. So, <laughs> PTC and Genius. Oh, just, look at oh, him go. Oh, no. QQ. Here comes that boy. 
Zayda's just running all around and shooting everyone with the orc. Was that Zayda as well the other yeah. time when he fell off of bloody backyard? I think so. No, that was Zion. Oh, that was Zion. The X's. The, the other X's. It's hard X's. to confuse them. It's the X factor. You can't, you can't <laughs> get them, you know, they're all the same. All I see is X's and very handsome Korean men, and I just can't tell anyone apart. Fortunately, for Lucid Dream, though, it is uh, pretty rough circumstances for them. They do have a lot of loss bonus. So maybe they can buy in the next one. They probably still will have like pretty much full loss bonus once they cop this loss. Um, but you know, MVP with eight rounds, it's getting a little bit scary. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to save here. You can see MVP, they are very hungry. The smoke at window allows HSK to drop out for free. Stacks denying one of fly, who finds one, so he at least takes Zeph down to the graveyard with him. But Lucid, three on the CT side. They are going to have to pull something back to maybe get five by the end, but I don't think it's going to be this round. The economy not in the greatest of ways. What a shot from Zeta. That second one off the barrel. Man's just coming out, b-hopping round. He's trick-shotting them, Mac. It's not fair. He's Hitting bored. The BM. Hitting them with the tilt. That's where it starts, right? Maybe. Get them oh. off their A-game. It's a dream. They are going to half buy into this one. PDC had like 7k, so he's going to buy himself a rifle. Why not just commit to the orc at this point? That's what I'm saying. Well, the lucid dream, they're going to give themselves a decent chance to win this one, and then next round potentially get themselves a double orb or something like that, but it's not looking good for them. It's looking terrible. It is looking terrible, but we did predict it at the start of the map. You know, the veto, you were expecting a bit of a nuke in there, maybe something different. You know, it's still a first half, that. It's still a first half. Round 12. Yeah, but I've seen Lucid Dream before and quite a lot of their games, and I have to say, the games where... Hold that thought for a second. Zep's going to make his way up catwalk into three players. Might be losing his life here, and he does. It's a one-for-one -one trade, but that's a lot of information about the positioning of these pistols for MVP, and they can rotate accordingly and try to give themselves the best chance of winning the round, and they're going to make their way towards long. As I was saying before, though... The games where Lucid Dream win is like they they need the momentum, man. Like they yeah, are okay. a very firepower intensive team, um, and I feel like a lot of the time, if they are very slow to start, they can have a real tough time getting back into things. And they just need to feel themselves, get out there, bloody see what's in the water, and connect as many uh, frags as possible. Obviously, it's all about connecting shots. In the end, but oh, genius going in with the flash. Good deagle there from QQ. Genius as well, gifted a second opportunity. PTC on to HSK. Battle of the three letters now. <laughs> Zeta. Oh, going to be baited on the PTC. The bomb is down, but they've got eyes all over. And here at Car has an opportunity, but he can't quite connect. On to Genius. And that is going to be four on the board for Lucid Dream. So on the light by, once again, Lucid just causing that upset. And the triple man setup down on short. Mate, that has been pretty pretty marvellous for Lucid Dream. Yeah, I think there's an element of misplaying there from MVP, you have to say. Like, Zeph just walking up catwalk by himself, looking for info and stuff, commits a little bit too heavily. A bit messy spray from the man as well. And then they... Really forced things up long, some good flashes, but yeah, I don't know if that was necessarily the highest percentage play they could have made to consolidate that four on four. But you have to say they would have the advantage in. Maybe rush things a little bit too much. Good job from Lucid Dream, though. Good job to get their hands on some weaponry and actually purchase enough weaponry to give themselves a decent chance in that round in particular. And MVP, uh, they don't really have a good round loss bonus at the moment either. So if they lose here, they're going to be in a pickle going further. Zeta opening up the round early on at doors as well. Dust 2 favouring that type of gameplay. The first five second engagements. And oh, great flash from Stax. The old fake flash. Gets one to look away, but unfortunately he's not blinded. Two for him so far. Staying alive on site. Swinging at double box. Can't connect as the smoke does bloom. So we're at a 3v3 and CBBK deciding whether he wants to just bust through that smoke or not. Good utility usage though, denying the plant for the moment. Design. Ooh, nice molly. Forces them back. Yeah, but these retakes on the B side are pretty annoying to win on the CT. Yep. And MVP, I mean, we've already seen them win at least one. I think memory serves correctly, probably two. Smoke into the tunnel. They're going to molly on the site. Flash comes out from QQ. 
Oh. Doing the rain search, but it's the Zeta. I thought he shot at window then. The man is so sharp, still alive, just baiting the attention of QQ, but it's Zeth to mop up the final 2-2, and that is going to be 4-9 to nine going into the 14th round of the half. Old mate's out of there. Doesn't need to see to be able to click on the, the CTs. <laughs> Definitely not. And then not. he's just pop, popping his head up and down behind the box. He's so sharp. What Ooh. a flick. It was beautiful. It was nuts. And it's good to see him back in the AWP as well. I mean, MVP, they were using HSK as their AWP before. Looks like a fast cat and long split coming out from MVP. Oh. Stax is going to hide in the smoke and bait everyone's attention. Finds the timing there. Almost getting two. So long control eventually still for Lucid Dream, but MVP, they're up on the A side already. Man advantage for Lucid Dream, so they can set up for the retake, though. Yeah, bomb's been put down for Catwalk. Zeph's going to hold on to this bomb site while the other two sort of divide their attention between Short and CT. Lucid Dream with the man advantage is starting to close in on this bomb site. Both of these players at long are very low. Or oh, actually, only one of them, sorry. Oh, good placement of that Molly, though, Zeph. Allowed to stay behind default, but he wants to peek. No, the Molly's spread. He managed to take one down with him. Azine, huge play. Can he get it done? No, only the first. So it's 1v2. HSK still alive. Bomb. Oh, is it even planted for him? It just barely is. Going for the spray down, but the defuse is coming out just in time. Oh, is it? Yeah, he's got it. It is just barely. Oh. Last couple of milliseconds there as Lucid Dream get to five on the CT side, and all of a sudden... There is a large amount of upset potential. I thought MVP were running away with it. Yeah, they're still in a good position, and they still have a decent chance of winning this round. Should have three AKs in armor. The other two will probably have to go down to umps or uh, or the pistols and armor with utility. But they can still get that done. That's good just the usual these days, though. Good stuff from Lucid Dream to be able to get a couple of rounds on the board, but like, weren't two of those just like half buys winning? One was a pistol buy, and the uh, one of them was a uh, that three v five that they won at coming yep. up catwalk, and yep. then the other one was like a half buy where they had like an M four. I think they had PTC. Yeah. M four and the, it was a short stack again. The short stack yep. was literally the thorn in the side of MVP twice. Short stack on the half buy. And they spotted it both times. Well, I think they spotted it both times. It looked like they may have spotted it both times. But it looks like Zeta is not able to see a whole lot there. Just taking pot shots at the smoke as the info came across with the jump peaks. No damage done on Delucid Dream, though. MVP heavily relying on this AWP to do some work here in the final round of the half, too. They're going to start edging their way towards this Xbox area, potentially to get some catwalk control, or go for a little bit of a peek out middle while they hold on to this long hut, make sure no one's getting aggressive in certain parts of the map. And they're now going to start to throw some smokes over towards middle, left side of middle, and the flash, but no one actually commits out there, and Lucid Dream going to be well aware of that, with CBPK playing very close up here. Find the Lots timing. Oh, huge amount of util used. Up on the box, CBBK fully blinded, didn't spot the info. I think neither of them spotted one another, so Zeph may go down here, jump him up to short. There's some information. Both the shots, PTC and CBBK teaming up to get the damage done. Zeta can't connect there, but will take some damage of his own. And on the AWP shot, CBBK oh, pushes through the door, the crouch just at the perfect time. The top mid player is completely unaware. CBBK on the flank, he's fast, he's right here as well. HSK and Zeta have no idea, but is he going to whip? He finds the first, the bomb goes down, 30 seconds. This is huge for Lucid Dream to find a sixth, but the flank's coming in. The, <laughs> the MP9, rather, has to do so much damage, but it won't get it done. And they're going to call the audible, try to head out yeah. mid straight into Waterfly's crosshair. And that is going to be a nice little 3k to round off the half. Six to nine is going to be the scoreline, and we will be right back with more action straight after this break.
ESL Pro League is brought to you in part by Intel, Occitani, Betway, Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel, and Pay Safe Card. Hello and welcome back to ESL Pro League. We are going into the second half between Lucid Dream and MVP PK in the first map of the best of three. It is Dust 2 in a battle of aggressions, a battle of short control it's been so far. Lots of action over on that part of the map and Pilly, mate, look, there is upset potential here as MVP are going into, the, into this matchup as the heavy favourites. Yeah, it could be the case. Lucid Dream, I mean, I've seen them have a terrible T side on this map, and I've seen them have a good T side on this map. So, I don't know. We're going to have to see which Lucid Dream actually shows up to this game. It seems like they've been pretty slow to start, but towards the tail end of that half, they really all started to step up. Even Wannafly had some multi-kill rounds towards that B site. PTC's hitting ult shots. QQ's holding down bomb sites. There's potential here for Lucid Dream to make this a pretty competitive game. But over on the side of MVP, they're looking pretty fierce as well. So... We will see what happens at the moment. Really feels like Lucid Dream just trying to feel out how aggressive MVP is being in this round in particular, which is not at all. They're just chilling. They're waiting for the T's to come to them. It's the complete polar opposite of what we saw in the first half. Both teams just pushing straight away up mid in tunnels, all the way up long for the T side as well. But everyone here holding for a good 40 seconds before deciding they want to try to work anything. You've got that smoke out mid as well, which has drawn a hard rotation from the A-site players, which is a bad call on MVP's behalf, as now they've just got Zion to try to hold the short push. All the way in they come. Bit of util's going to be there, but going to be Zeta to connect so far on a CBBK all the way up on site. PTC trying to get the flank. Zion tries to get the reload off court in a rough transition, but PTC finds two before he falls. But everyone else on Lucid Dream, unfortunately, couldn't get the damage done. And that's all she wrote as MVP off to the double digits, taking that CT pistol as well. Yep, off to the double pistols as well. Lucid, I mean, they're usually pretty good on their pistols, so it's pretty sad that they're not able to come away with either of these. I'm going to save for the next round. There won't be any force by shenanigans with dropping AKs and the like. Just uh, four deagles and a bit of utility on CBBK as they head into the next. Over on the side of MVP. I think they like the scoped weaponries, Matt. You think? I think so. What makes you think that? They have uh, purchased them. Oh, yes, I see, I see. That's five scoped rifles in the hands of MVP. Loving that COD-style gameplay. Of course, of course. Genius and Wannafly, last two alive, have a very large amount oh. of work to do, but what an angle found by Genius. Looking to connect, taking the fight with HSK. Wannafly falls. Over towards bedroom there. Zion happy to pick up the second. Bomb still in possession of your boy Genius here. But MVP. Well, they're running all the wrong places right now. And this, there's, there's potential for Genius to 
creep his way up site and get that bomb plant down. Gonna need uh, Zeta to settle down. The man cannot let go of his <laughs> movement keys right now. <laughs> He's loving it. He just wants that information. He loves giving it up as well. Okay, so we're waiting. It's gonna happen at some point. Someone will be one bead. That wasn't a one B, but you know I'll take it. What do you mean? It was clean. It was clean, very clean spray down, very very <laughs> clean. It only took 15 bullets, but that is an 11th round on the board for MVP. Lucid Dream, not too bad there in the second. Did take a man down with him, which you know better than worst case scenario. <laughs> yeah, well, can't be the dream every single time. Lucid Dream, however, they're going to make their way out long, which will be contested by four players from MVP. Oh, just waiting for that flash to come in. Zion, he goes straight out with it. You can see PTC, he's fully blinded. And it's going to be Zion mopping up. Two for him, one for Zeph. And that's a two, oh, three for one trade, rather. Only Zeph dead for MVP. Yeah, Lucid Dream, they're trying to get out long there, and they're wondering, when do these flow of CTE stop? I thought after I kill one to two of them, or I see two of them, that there's not going to be any more left there. Maximum three, but when you have four CT with CTs with the Orcs just <laughs> running around the corner, Genius gives himself up. And they Stacks, knew he, he was doesn't there care, anyway. mate. He's not interested in that player at mid. He's just going to walk into tunnel and secure the round. He's going to make his way in towards T-Spawn. They know they have bomb control. He just goes, yeah, Genius, you want you want B-Site? You can have it, bud. It's that yours. Was, it was an interesting decision to you know hit the trigger there. Super late. Oh, CBK <laughs> spotting the man on the flank, but he's down on 4 HP. And look... I've got some bad news for CBBK. I don't think that Lucid Dream can get their way back into the round. Stacks just lurking and waiting for... <laughs> oh, no. CBBK has been spotted. Everyone looking the wrong way at the wrong time. The timings here are ridiculous. Genius will get the one tap. There's still 30 seconds. Great job. We've cleaned Stacks out of T-Spawn. Now let's go get the bomb. Oh, wait. There is just tremendous amounts of fire in Long Hut. And we can't move. Okay. Oh. Genius going to set his one HP teammate up with a flash. I can't see how this one's going to turn out. Straight on the corner. No, HSK takes contact first. Going to the wall bang as well. And he's going to take both the final frags. It's only going to cost them one more life. So I guess, you know, if you're looking at some positives there for Lucid Dream, they did get three rifles out of the hands of MVP and they're starting to work up a bit of a round loss bonus. But that's not really what your aim is. Your aim is to get those rounds, especially being in a six-round deficit. Aim is winning. Yes, yes, you're winning. correct. <laughs> that would be it. It's the half buy for Lucid Dream. Lots of utility for the lads. Eager to see how they're going to use it. Smoke onto the corner at Long, as well as the flashes. But Zion, he has got the smoke and the nade into Long Hut, and he knows they're not in Long. So he secured that by himself. Not enough noise being made. Yeah. Over towards eight. Not enough little footsteps and the old, uh, you know, pistol shots and, and whatnot. Lucid Dream, it looks like they're going to start to set themselves up for a bit of a mid to be here, Mac. 3v5 is going to be the scenario that MVP with much more firepower, although I see a couple of Deagles, P250s, and a lone Tech 9. Great this setup thing... from MVP. Oh, but, oh, Lucid, they're going to go before that smoke's popped, and that is their downfall. Stacks with the 2k through the smoke already. And the T's have no idea where these bullets are coming from. Stacks three for him at the end of the round. Zeph and HSK, one apiece. And that is going to be 13 on the board for MVP up against Lucid Dream, who are now finally able to buy again. They had three players over towards our B-bomb site right from the start. Pretty easy stuff from the lads over on MVP. And I like the small detail of Stacks throwing that smoke really deep into the tunnel with the Org, which when you're going up against the pistols, it's like, best of luck hitting me. Yeah. Like you're running through the... the the very, very shallow part of the smoke straight into my cross there and trying to hit me at long range with a CZ. Straight into the narrow tube as well. The, the narrow tube that is tunnels. Narrow tube. Reminds me of a squid, perhaps. Oh. Speaking of narrow tubes, that's exactly what took Stacks out of the server. PTC on the AWP again. Lots of flashes being rained across. Two T's here ready and waiting, but not too blind. PTC finding the 3K hero of the round already. 5v2 now, surely... There is no way that Lucid can throw this one. <laughs> no praise whatsoever. Just, you know, hopefully they, they're able to actually close it out. Nah, that really was very much just PTC walks into the B-bomb site and clicks on three people. No crazy amount of strategic depth from Lucid Dream whatsoever. But hey, if that's how, how you get it done, then that's pretty good. And they do have five guns up. And perhaps if, you know, they do have... I know that they do have strats on Dust 2. I've seen them. 
they can save some of those for the next couple of rounds. Hopefully. That's the power of having a star player on your team. Sometimes That's, that's the man, power of being a team. <laughs> sometimes one of your players from the team, as you would put it, just clicks on everyone and you don't need the rest of the team. Yep, PTC did a marvellous job of that hit. Orping's just a little bit too easy, isn't it? Well, no, it's definitely not. It's just, you just Maybe for some gods like you, Pilly. You but just point it at people and you click. For us mere mortals, it's not an easy accomplishment to kill three people in a round with an orc. Yes, so. Especially Pete. at this caliber of gameplay. That so is true. Stop acting like it's nothing, all right? Sorry, Mac. It's all right. You're forgiven. I'll, I'll let you uh, analyze the two narrow tubes that MVP have bought in this round. Oh, two narrow tubes. And one is going to be taken out straight away, so, you know, they never really had two narrow tubes. But that's one retrievable for Lucid Dream if they do want to find a second orb. Not sure on the T side if it is the greatest decision because there may, might be two betas over in spawn instead rather than the one watching that cross with the AK. Oh, well, there might be two betas, but there's no Zeta. He's dead. That's it. The MVP, they are now hiding on the bomb site towards A. Would it be giving PDC any more angles to work with? The man has been killing absolutely everybody in his scope. That's probably the first time I've seen him miss a shot in quite a while. Now MVP just kind of try and work this really mediocre setup into a round win as Lucid Dream start to make their way up long, but they are very split up here, Mac. Yeah, the Double smokes on the not, cross. Not the most optimal. Mutual reigns in. And MVP have a big job to do. HSK, that Molly's not going to force him out. The, <laughs> the wrap comes all the way across. Modify takes someone else out before getting... Found it by HSK himself, but a good trade from CBBK, so that leaves them with a two-man advantage. But the man at doors, it's going to be genius denying the cross on just Zeph. Stax will get the trade and try his little heart out to save this AWP, but you can tell Lucid Dream, look, with the money in the bank, they can go for the hunt, but it's probably the smarter decision just to let that money rise, because you really need that money to go for the comeback, especially being at a four-round deficit, but... Looks like they are prioritising any of the AWP out of the hands of Stax because I guess it is a very dangerous weapon at the end of the day. All right, Max, for a guy with glasses, you're pretty bad at the maths, buddy. What? You said there was a four-round deficit. I'm going to need you to look at the scores, all right? Five. Yeah. Five now. I was very close to the screen, similar to how I play Counter-Strike. I couldn't <laughs> see too much, honestly. I was just watching the crosshair. All he sees is red. The moustache just grows as his mouth opens and he just lets out a scream of anger. Anger. Yeah. Rah. <laughs> or do you want louder? I can do it. No, I'm not going to no, do don't. louder. I wouldn't. I, I did that at IEM and I couldn't talk for a week, so let's see how it goes. I don't know if that was related to the bacteria in the air or whether your voice is actually just cooked. Oh, speaking of bacteria, oh. we are going to see a USB just creeping and infecting long. It is small but very dangerous if it has its way into the right position. So now, Lucid Dream, two-man deficit. Stax has that AWP. Two AKs now retrieved as well, so MVP in a very good position to try to upset here in the 22nd round. CBBK finding one on the cross, but ooh, Zeph's coming in. That AK too strong, just waiting, looking to trade the men at long P250. Well, it's not very accurate, so CBBK with the AK in hand is going to dish out all the damage, but AK and AWP still alive. Stax, he's coming up short. He's taking his sweet little time, but oh, behind the smoke, he's going to have to use it as a shotgun instead. PTC, is he aware? Oh, seems like it. <laughs> what do you know? Flash comes through, stacks oh. alive, regains his vision, and he's going to come out on top in that engagement. How? I don't know. CBK, 3k for him so far, 22 HP, has to take the 1v1. Angle isolated. It's HSK looking for the info, but that AWP on Stax was too good on the retake. I sort of wrote him off for a moment, but the man's I too mean, sharp. He should have. He should have been dead. He should have. Lose the dream. They've cooked it. But let's be real. Like, Karma has come back around here, all right? Lose the dream. They got two of those rounds on their CT side. They got two of those half buys. It certainly did. So, MVP, fair's fair. You give them one back. And unfortunately, they got a lot more rounds, so they're in a fantastic <laughs> position now. And you were talking about how many guns that Lucid Dream were losing hunting in that round previous. Could definitely be a relevant set of things to be looking at, considering how cooked their money is on three of their players now. 
four, and look at the aggression from HSK. It almost worked, it almost paid dividends rather, but CBK with the trade, and now Lucid Dream Man advantage. They've got rifles this time, again, after losing the upset round. Yeah, they're just slowing it down. Don't need to be getting too hasty. They are in the four and three. They have catwalk control. Lots of talking points in the, uh, in the uh, Lucid Dream camp, some might say. Utility blocks, cuts these T's in half, and good flashbang, and that's a good way to take control back of the round if you're MVP. But Smoke just isolating both of the Lucid players as well. Stacks, oh, gifted a frag on a QQ, and another, Ooh. that wasn't gifted, that one was taken by the bloody hand. PTC knocked out of the serve, and MVP one away from taking the first map here in the best of three. And Stax is so good. How did I... I clearly wasn't watching Gosu closely enough. Because oh. I was looking... When this MVP team was formed, I was like, oh my god, it's the dream. You've got Zeta and Zion on the same team. You're going to put HSK. He's pretty good with the AWP sometimes from time to time. You know, Zeph was in good form. And then this guy, Stax, just wrecks everybody. Every game on this MVP roster. He's nuts. He is quite nuts. All right, five players through mid. Oh, good strat. Um, we'll see if it works out for Lucid. They are just going to try to go with the power in numbers strategy instead. But can they make their way through the door? Molly forcing stacks out, out in the open. Manages to take a man down with him, but it's a 3v3. And we didn't see Lucid win the scenario in the retake on B. But PTC staying aggressive as well. Has found one more. Oh, the timing from CBBK. Couldn't have been better. HSK has no idea. Oh, <laughs> how have we got into this situation? CBK eventually has been gifted that frag. And Zeta now just looking to save the AWP Lucid. Well, look at the money. They shouldn't say it. They shouldn't hunt, rather. Yeah, their money's cooked. 100% agreed, Mac. MVP, if they hold on to this weapon, eh, could kind of scrape a buy together, maybe. It's not going to be pretty, though. They have enough of a round gap where they can take the risk, though. Yeah. Considering they caused the upset before. Go for another five-man stack somewhere, see if it pays the dividends. And if not, just save it in the next. Yeah, no, nah, their money's pretty cooked, actually. Would not recommend. But they might do it anyway. Maybe. i just like to see a couple of pistols around the orb. That was enough to get it done last time, anyway. I don't know when I last saw a five-man you know, mid-strat. You was... haven't watched enough Lucid Dream? No, well, I definitely have not. They love their five-man... Out this area. Oh, I wasn't even going to elaborate on that at all. <laughs> five I was men. just leave it at that. Look, you've got five men in the server. Why not just use them? Oh, look at this, though. Wanna fight. Seems to be fully aware of the situation, but Zion's gone aggressive. Oh, I'm wanna fight. Oh, he hasn't spotted him, but he's making so much noise. Zion's in between a rock and a hard place right now, but he makes the first work. Knows that Waterfly's in pit as well. The trade is there. Almost a second. HSK barely surviving. That Molotov should be the nail in the coffin, though. But it's CBK hitting the headshot instead. The overkill coming out there. And Lucid looking good to take double digits hit. Double digs. Double diggies. Yep. Double smokes on the cross. So Lucid Dream don't get... You know, picked apart by Zeto. He's going to run down over towards that B ramp, potentially. Well, but the uh, the shroud of the smoke is there to allow Zeph to try and play a one-way. Unfortunately, he's blinded. It's a little too late. We'll take QQ down with the bloody Deagle spam. It's always a good little strategy at close range. Yeah, Deagle's overpowered. It's only got those seven bullets, though. Nah, it's easy. It's easy. You just, <laughs> either you click on their head at long range, or you just click on their body twice at close range. Okay, all right, you've got me there. That's what you do. You can get three kills that way, as long as you don't miss. As long as you just click on the heads, you're fine. Oh, well, that too. Kevin's gone, so I have to keep saying that, because that's all he used to say to me. When was the last time you saw someone get a one-clip ace with a deagle? Uh, never. I don't think. Nico? No, that was multiple clips. Mark, stop using your logic sorry. to dismantle my argument. Okay. I'm sorry. I just want to see it. I reckon it'd be... Well, it would be. It'd be miraculous. I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure it's happened in... Seven bullets. All you need to do is click on five heads. How hard can it be? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially with that uh, first bullet accuracy. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, now, MVP, they're going to buy. <laughs> Where are you going to go with that one? 
where was I going to go? Well, I'm going to go straight back into the game. Good. Because this is an important round. This might be the round where MVP wins Dust 2. Well, it should be. And it's going to be four players over towards long again. They're crazy. Ooh. They don't want to let anybody have long. And nobody's going to. Now they're going to get their rotate back on over towards middle. They've got the long control. They're going to completely change up their setup now. The deep smoke into heart going to keep Lucid Dream out. As they're going to start to edge their way down towards middle and catwalk. And look at that. Oh. They're crazy. They're just jumping across middle. PTC's there. Are you guys nuts? Wait. Should know that there's at least three over towards that B area now, though. One way to gather info, just jump across <laughs> me and have a look. See what happens. <laughs> oh, very, very ballsy gameplay coming out there. Genius. Oh, he's going to be looking the wrong direction. Boost too strong from HSK. There's the man advantage, but just barely HSK <laughs> surviving on a single health point. Very Australian approach, feels like, from MVP. Any kind of a crisis in Australia, they'd be like, hey... Do you think there's like some kind of a tsunami coming? Oh, why don't I just go take a little look? <laughs> Let's go have a look. Let's go see. They got away with it. Oh, bugger. I've been swept away. <laughs> Damn. All right. Man advantage for MVP. Oh, 40 nice seconds. Setup. It's a 40. nice setup for them. They got old mate and goose. Literally old mate. Zeph is like 30 something. 52. I'm pretty sure. He's a gamer though. I've seen him pop off recently. 20 seconds on Lucid. Looks like they are committing to the B site, but you've got QQ still pushing at mid. HSK watching that flank, though, looking for the audible. And Zeta with the AWB trying to connect it. Zeph to get first blood there on short. Oh, CBK on the trade. York there, too strong, but CBK sticking this bomb plan. It's just barely going to go down, but everyone's been taken out. And MVP will take the first map 16 to 10 here on Dust2. Lucid. They did an alright job trying to get that comeback, but unfortunately their T side just